Hi, how are you today? My name is Patrick McNamee and I'm the author of the book Strategic Management for MBAs and this podcast is designed to give you a picture of the overall structure of the book. It is really the contents. Uh, This book is divided into five major sections and the first section is the MBAs and strategic management. What what is the distinctiveness of an MBA and what is so special about strategic management? And section two is the philosophy behind the book. What are the sort of principles that uh, I adhere to when writing this book? Section three is the practical and most important part, I think, of the book, which is its practical application to business situations. And section four is concerned with showing uh, MBA students how to develop their skills. These are the skills of communication, presentation, etc. And finally, the last section is about student presentations. It's a showcase, really, for some of the better presentations that our students have done for the, in the past few years. I'm now going to look at each section following the same order set out in just a little more detail. Section 1 comprises just two chapters and it's really about why I think the MBA is such a superior management qualification. And it also explores in the next sex chapter uh, why strategic management is a fundamental skill for all managers to have. Section two uh, is concerned with the philosophy supporting the book. You know, I think it's quite important whenever you're writing a book to have certain principles to which you adhere throughout it. I'll not go through these principles now, but there's a, there's a sort of an overview of a timeless model of strategic management. And then I think about seven principles which support that. This is the main part of the book. It's the practical use of strategic management, starting from how a company can define its business to what's happening uh, through the internet today. Uh, This is the core. I'll emphasize that again. Section four is about the sort of essential skills that MBAs develop during the course of their program. Uh, And this is really is what what should an MBA be an MBA be able to do on completion of the MBA programme. And finally, section five are examples of students' presentation. These are mostly in PowerPoint and some are on Mac. So that's uh, really it. Once again, we have the credits rolling, the hardware, the software and the music. And I would like to thank you for taking the time to listen to this podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. And with any luck at all, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. Goodbye.